Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Will Radio. Let's see what to talk about. Well, yesterday night I uploaded, I think, eight episodes. I had recorded those over two days, but it took a while to process them. So one day I had zero uploads, but the next day I had eight uploads. So, well, um, mostly I've been thinking about how to, you know, get into the book writing game. Uh, I did upload videos in two new series. One was about FPGAs and the other was about reversible computing. So I am excited about both of those. And those are things I want to want to get into. Um, so that's exciting. And I did find um, an R6RS video that I thought I had lost. I actually found that. I'd saved it in the wrong directory. So, you know, those are all great. However, as you can probably tell from my typing setup and all the other things I've been thinking about, um, I'm really trying to figure out how to crack the book writing. Uh, since that's been a persistent desire of mine for many decades, and uh, you know, I want to be writing a book all the time. So, my current goals are to really focus on the mechanical aspects of writing. And, you know, as I've mentioned multiple times, I was having problems with pain while typing. So I have the ultimate nerd typing set up. I keep saying it's the ultimate, but I keep tweaking it. Um, yesterday I swapped the command key with the option key on the left and the command key with control on the right. So I'm still making little tweaks. I might might try to tweak the arrow keys. I'm not sure. I find the arrow arrow keys unbelievably awkward. Also the escape and shift and tab keys, those positionings are pretty awkward. Uh, but I'm I'm getting getting better slowly. Um I wrote for an hour. Well, I don't know if, if uh, writing is the right term for it. I typed for an hour yesterday very very slowly between two and eight words a minute, I think. Um, <clears throat> I had four 15-minute writing segments that I recorded. So that was an hour in my chair using the keyboard, either very deliberately working on my typing speed and accuracy, or at least a little bit of that time I spent actually writing sentences that potentially could go in book one. Um, but the important thing to me is to spend an hour a day in the chair typing for things related to the book, ultimately, even if that's mostly just me typing sentences so that I can get up to speed. Um, and, you know, increasing my tolerance for that, for sitting in the chair and, um, you know, focusing on my technique to both become faster and make sure that I'm not suffering from pain while typing. That's my real goal. Um, it's okay to be bored. That's why I remind myself. I say, I'm sure it's boring to watch these videos and had at least one suggestion to add music. Maybe. I found some elevator music on YouTube that is, uh, you're allowed to use on your videos. So maybe elevator music would be the appropriate music if Yakety Sax is not available. Um, you know, I don't expect anyone to watch me, especially the silent ones. Uh, sometimes I can't make videos of sound. You know, a silent video of me typing at two words per minute, that that doesn't make great YouTube content, I'm sure. Um, that's okay, you know. Even even if you're a fan of mine, you don't have to watch those, okay? <laughs> o only a true fan would, would uh, watch those. Uh, I guess it's kind of interesting in some way to watch someone who's really, really bad at something trying to improve over time but you know that may be his best experience from watching a video now versus a video a week from now versus a video a month from now you know in any case i'm uploading these videos just because you know some of some of what i'm doing is are sentences that could end up in a book um, and also just to force me to sit down and also you know uh, not just to work on the typing 
and to work on the book and getting used to spending an hour, but also working in the open, um, making things that are admittedly boring. Okay, that is boring. There's no way to say that's not boring. Um, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so it's like here's a new low for my YouTube videos. Um, if I can upload that and and not get worried about it, then you know I can make a video on some other topic and not get overly concerned with whether or not the video is boring or exciting or not. Uh, so that's part of it. Um, yeah, so just getting over fear and self-censorship that way. It's like, oh, and it's okay for me to be bored. It's okay for you to be bored as well, actually. I think boredom is important. It's very important to have some boredom in your life um, and have your mind wander. So from that standpoint, watching my videos of me typing might be great stimulation for you to have your mind wander and think of interesting thoughts that have nothing to do with me typing. Maybe it's like an ASMR, except without the sound. I don't know, visual ASMR. In any case, it's okay to be bored. I may or may not uh, add music. I you know, kind of feel like I should embrace the boredom of it. But it's boring, you know? Cutting the grass can be boring. Well, yeah, let your mind wander, I don't care. Um, I don't listen to music when, I, when I'm typing. I'm making this video. You know, I thought about that. Hey, I could listen to some music. Uh, I probably can't put the music on the video because of copyright and all that. But I could could myself listen to music and maybe it'd be less boring. It's like, nah, nah, I'm going to lean into the boring. It's going to be boring. That's okay. I'm okay. Uh, I have a pretty high tolerance for being bored, actually. I think that's uh, one of my strengths. Um, I know a lot of people who have almost no tolerance for being bored. Um, and I, I can see the advantages in some sense to that. You know, they always need action, <clears throat> you know, but, uh, you know, if, if you can't tolerate being bored, there are just certain things you can't do. <clears throat> so like the StarCraft players that I've seen interviews with, they say like the difference between a pro and you know, just a good StarCraft player is a pro is willing to practice against the computer a build over and over and over again and try to get it down perfectly. Um, and a lot of people would just say that's boring. And a pro would say, uh, well, uh, it's, it's sort of irrelevant whether that's boring. It's up to you to decide if that's boring or not. But trying to perfect your craft and uh, own noobs on ladder and steal their ladder points uh, that's not boring. So <clears throat> anyway, I actually don't feel bored when I'm typing. I just feel sort of uh, frustrated all the time because like, it actually requires all my mental energy to figure out where's the next key? Where's the next key? So I'm not bored at all making these videos. <clears throat> uh, 100 hours. So in the Wikipedia page, talking about Dvorak, you know, so, so there's apparently the scientific evidence that Dvorak works better than QWERTY uh, is highly contested. There's not a whole lot of, <clears throat> of uh, direct evidence. Some of the original studies were actually done by Dvorak, and who was rather biased. So Dvorak said it's a better layout. I'm saying, yeah, I'm enjoying the fact that my fingers aren't moving as much. It seems having E underneath the, uh, you know, a strong finger on the home row. That seems like uh, makes sense. You know, why would Q be on the home row? That doesn't make any sense to me. So seems like it's an advantage so far. Um, but there was also another part of this where the U.S. government did a study for people who knew how to type with QWERTY, how long did it take them to get up to speed with Dvorak? And it was 100 hours. 100 hours for someone who's like professional level typist to switch to Dvorak. Um, so, you know, I don't have any reason to think that I'm some sort of pro uh, prodigy when it comes to typing. If you've watched any of these videos, you probably have come to the same conclusion. So um, I figure probably 100 hours until um, relatively proficient with Dvorak or proficient with Dvorak to the extent that I'm 
proficient with QWERTY. Hopefully I get better than with QWERTY. It was never great. Um, I, I think actually I'll get better in, in at least some sense. I think my accuracy will be better than with QWERTY. I don't know if my speed will be better. And hopefully I'll have no pain. I'll be able to type relatively quickly with no pain. That's my real goal. Um, so if I type an hour a day for, you know, say the next every day for the next three months, um, now you're getting into 100 hour territory. So it'll probably take me three months uh, of this every day. So that's an hour a day typing in the chair. Now, you know, if you've watched my videos, uh, I'm not really typing full speed the entire time. Um, but I figure I'll get faster as my accuracy gets better, uh, that sort of thing. I'll, I'll probably get faster. So you know, the last 50 hours will probably be better than the first 50 hours, just in terms of the percentage of time I spend actually typing. And then I'll have a much better sense of of uh, what the impact is on my wrists, for example. All right. And uh, my writing goals for the year. So I, I started out with this bold claim I was going to write and send out to press 100 I mean, I love 100, not 100 novels, <laughs> 11 novels, 11 novels this year, one for per month. And so we are, what, February 20th, I got nine more days after today in February. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of, a, of book one, uh, not much at all. So obviously my plans are going to change a little bit unless I'm going to write the world's shortest book. MIT Press. Here's here's a book that's three paragraphs long. <laughs> but it took me as long to type it as it would to type a full book for someone else. Uh, I don't know if they were gonna go with that. Um, maybe I have to rephrase it as poetry or something. Uh, so anyway, you know, I I think part of the idea is I'm focusing on fundamentals, and it might take me three months to get up to speed with writing. Now, I'm not planning to wait until three months are over to uh, make real progress on a book. But the point is, you know, if I'm learning to type and for a professional, it takes 100 hours to get up to speed, you know, it it's going to take me a little while. And, and writing a book at two words per minute just doesn't seem feasible. So I think I just kind of have to invest those 100 hours and record a bunch of really boring videos, and that's fine. I don't have any problem recording videos that are boring. Uh, what I am gonna try to do is increase my tolerance. So uh, yesterday I did an hour, which was great. That was my goal. It was four 15 minute sessions. Um, part of that is just, I had interruptions and had to deal with some things. That's fine, so that's pretty typical. Uh, but I would like to at least get up to two 30-minute sessions. So that's what I'm going to try today it would be two 30-minute sessions instead of four 15-minute sessions. I think I can do that today. We'll see. Uh, but I just wanted to gradually build up my tolerance to the point where I could do a one-hour session if I want to. Now, eh, not so great to sit in a chair for an hour anyway. So maybe two 30-minute sessions just makes sense ergonomically that, you know, especially since I have been having pain and, you know, I got to get the posture right and all that, you know, two 30 minute sessions. I think that makes sense for me. So, but that's what I want to try to do today is do two 30 minute sessions. See if I can do that. If not, you know, three 20 minute sessions instead of four 15 minute sessions. I just, I just want to try to build up, build up that to, to half an hour sessions. And at some point, you know, like I said, if it's a weekend, maybe I spend more than an hour. Maybe I do an hour and a half. Maybe I do two hours some days. So, you know, I, I would like to increase the amount of time I spend in the chair. Um, we'll see. So, you know, more time in the chair, more words written. As like day nine says, if you want to write a book, you know, sort of the, 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 the ultimate realization of that is you have to sit in front of a keyboard and type a certain number of hours. Like that's that's how you're going to do it unless you're going to have some other modality like transcription, uh, whatever. But right now I want to do it with a keyboard, sort of the traditional way. So I just need to be able to increase my typing speed, not have pain, and allocate a certain number of minutes a day doing it. That's it. That's just like the 
sort of boring mechanics of it. This goes back to it's okay to be bored. Okay, I hope that I will be writing books for a long time. Who knows? Nothing in life is certain, but if that's true, that I'll be writing books for many, many years, decades, then, um, you know, the fact that it takes me three months to get up to speed typing with the setup doesn't matter so much. What really matters is that I can type for long periods of time without pain and that I am typing every day and I am working on a book every day. That's what's actually important. So that's, that I think is what the StarCraft players were talking about. That's the mindset, which is, okay, you have to invest 100 hours and it's going to be really slow and painful. That's fine. It's just 100 hours. You know, I've played over 3,000 competitive ladder games of StarCraft in on just one account. So, I mean, that was years ago. Um, so if I think about how much money, how much time I've invested in StarCraft, 100 hours isn't much, or, you know, 1,024 videos this year. Uh, 100 hours, not that much, right? So like if I, uh, if I did 30 minutes, you know, that's only 200 videos. That's, uh, you know, only a small portion of my 1,024 videos for the year. So from that perspective, it's, it's a minimal investment so that I can be productive uh, in working on books. So anyway, that's the mindset I have. Um, I hope you will also engage in things that other people might consider too boring to do, but if you actually put in that time, uh, they would pay dividends, you know. All right, um, I'm going to record some videos of me typing slowly. Um, I'm going to try to do two 30 minutes. We'll see what happens. So, you know, if, if worse comes to worse, I'll break it up into 15s. But, you know, I'll try to do, try to do for 30 minutes. Talk to you soon. Thanks.